What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and I have another GTA 5 online video for you today. How are we all doing? Hope you're having a great day so far. Now, this video, I've been getting a lot of requests for it lately, so I figured I would go ahead and post it. So this is basically how to receive any type of uh, facility vehicles, special vehicles, AA trailer, um, any of those vehicles, and allow them to store properly without getting any dead spots. So using obviously the give cards to friends method, whatever is currently method at your time. Right now I'm using the impromptu race method, which was just recently unpatched here in the background. Um, so I'm not going to go through that particular glitch right now. A lot of YouTubers have already made videos on it. I personally haven't covered it, but there is lots out there. Um, so definitely check it out if you're unfamiliar with the current give cards to friends method. So first what I'm going to do is going to do a facility vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and receive a Chernabog from my friend here. So all we're going to do obviously is we're going to have a vehicle that we want to glitch out in. Now this one you can use any vehicle you want, it does not matter. So I'm just going to use a free elegy to be able to receive this one. Now whatever vehicle you glitch out on is actually going to be put into the um, spot for where the Chernabog comes from. Um, so it's not really majorly important for this one to know what vehicle it is because you will be able to see what it is when we call our mechanic later. So you're just going to glitch out like normal. But the biggest difference with this now is before you receive the new Chernabog from your friend, you want to actually call yours out on the map. So right now I'm just glitching out, so I'm doing that in the background here. Now once I've got the car I've glitched out, this one's actually going to be under the map for this particular method. I just want to go ahead and drive far enough away and then call my Chernabog onto the map. So I'm just going to speed through that part here right now and then we'll follow up on that side. Alright, so now here we are, we've driven far enough away and we've called our mechanic to call out our Chernabog that was in the actual spot in the facility. So once we've done that, all we need to do is make sure it's on the map. Now we can drive back over to receive the new modded Chernabog that we want to put in the actual designated spot. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into the next one here and receive it like I normally would with, with again, whatever current give cards to friends method you are using. So I'm just doing the current one here where I just go enter alone, do, double, do the double tap for the targeting mode and get into the vehicle and it is going to suck me into the back of the MOC. So this part isn't important obviously because again you're going to be using whatever current give cards to friends method. I'm going to leave this video up as a guideline um, just to refer back to when there is different give cards to friends methods. This will be the method to actually move them properly without getting any dead spots. So I'm receiving the new Chernabog now, like I said, my personal one that was in the actual designated spot is on the map. So I now have it in the back of my MOC. So from here I need to push it to my facility. Now you can only push it to your facility first. Once you push it to your facility you are welcome to push it anywhere else if you don't actually want to put it in the spot. So you could move it to your um, CEO garage if you wanted to. Uh, or even a regular 10 car garage as well. They will show up in both of those. Uh, except for the thruster. The thruster will not show up. It does stay invisible. But I want to put this in the actual spot, which most people are going to want to do. So once I have gone ahead and received it in my MOC, I just want to call any vehicle from my facility. doesn't matter what vehicle it is. And I'm just going to go ahead and drive it into the back of the MOC to swap it out. So that's going to push it into a regular car spot in our facility. Now the next part is very important. If you do not know the order that they actually go in when you call your mechanic, you definitely want to take a screenshot or something like that so you remember which order. So if we're starting from the bottom, number 11 is going to be the thruster. Number 10 is going to be the Kanjali. Number 9 is Chernabog. And number 8 is RCV. All right, so that is very important to remember. So before you start this, if you're unfamiliar with what spot goes where, Make sure you take a screenshot because what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to call my mechanics and then we're now over at the facility. If I go into the facility through my mechanics list, I'm going to be able to see the elegy that I originally glitched out and it's going to be in the Kanjali, sorry not the Kanjali, the Chernabog spot right here. Okay, so you can see 8 is RCV, 9 is Chernabog, 10 is Kanjali and 11 is Thruster. So I've got the RH8 in the spot where the Chernabog normally would be. So I just want to call it using my mechanic and we're going to go ahead and get in the car. Now very important, your facility must be full at this point. Has to be full. So make sure before you even drive it in, try to buy an RH8 or something in it just to confirm that it is 100% full. 
And then if it is full, we're going to go ahead and accept the alert. Now when we accept the alert, we should see, if we go through the menu, that Chernabog, which we received in the beginning, should be in a regular car spot at this point. So all we want to do is select that Chernabog or Kanjali or whatever vehicle you're doing at this time, and we're going to swap it out. Now for some reason, if you don't do it properly, like you forget what spot, you put like a Kanjali in a Chernabog spot for some reason, um, it is going to be invisible and you're going to have to fix it by giving it back to yourself to delete it. So it does create a lot more problems later on. So we're going to go ahead and select the Chernabog. Now as you can see the RH8 went into that spot that was empty but it was a Chernabog that was in there. You just can't see it. It's not visible. But if we go up over here, boom, there it is. The blue tartan one that I just received from my buddy is now in the spot. All right. So it's that easy, so really just a couple extra steps that you would normally do, and that'll move it into the spot. Next, we're going to do the nightclub vehicles. So as you see, I just drove past my mule. So now I've requested my mule on the map, and I'm going to go ahead and receive the new mule. Now there is more than one way you can do this. Now I am doing this the same way I just did the facility vehicles, and the reason being is that if we were to do, there's, the other way you can do it is if you receive a new one without yours on the map, you can push it to B2, and then you can actually go into your nightclub B2 and just go ahead and modify it, and it will change whatever mule speedo pounder that's in its spot to the one that you just received from a friend and push to B2. Now the downside to that method is if you have another vehicle on the map and you're modifying the speedo or mule or whichever, it'll actually change the vehicle that's on the map as well. So you will lose that vehicle on the map. So I prefer to do it this way. This way there is no problems and you don't have to worry about deleting vehicles. So same way we just did the Chernabog, once we've gone ahead and called ours on the map, I've received the new one. Now it's at the back of my MOC. So I want to call any vehicle from the Nightclub Garage B2. Now I recommend doing B2. For the terabyte, it'll only work with B2. Um, for the Speedo, Mule, and Pounder, you can use B2, 3, or 4, it doesn't matter. But the Terabyte must be B2 only, so you always have to push it to B2 first. So just to save the hassle, I recommend just pushing them all to B2 uh, in the beginning, just to make it easier on yourself. So once we drive in the back of our MOC, we're obviously going to accept the full alert, and that is now going to push it to the nightclub. So if done correctly, when we get over the nightclub, as you see now, we're actually going to have that elegy that we started off with in the mule spot. So again, just like the previous method of the Chernabog. So now we're going to get into this, you know, so-called mule that's an elegy and we're going to drive it out. Now, same thing, we want to make sure our B2 is full. So again, if you're unsure, buy vehicles into it to make sure your B2 is full. Then all we need to do is drive it into the nightclub, select basement level 2, accept the full alert, and we are going to select the mule that we just received from our friend and is now going to go ahead and swap those two vehicles so that the mule does go into its designated spot. So again, there's other method out there where you can just kind of merge them, but that does create complications. If you don't do it properly, you could possibly lose some vehicles. So this way is 100% guaranteed not to lose anything. As well, um, you're not going to have to worry about any dead spots or anything like that as well. All right. So that is how you push it. So as you can see, there it is. It's now in its spot. So we are good to go. So you can receive the pounder, the speedo, and it works the same way with the terabyte. And now we're going to move on to the AA trailer. So for the AA trailer, like before, we're going to call our AA onto the map before we receive the new one. We want to disconnect it from the trailer. So hit around the D-pad to disconnect it from the trailer. Now I'm going to go ahead and receive the new one from my friend. Now with this, with the AA trailer, you do actually have to send your MOC back because it will not let you call the AA until you've sent your MOC back. So you can send your MOC back, request your AA, and then go ahead and get on to your friends. So with the current Give Cards to Friends method, um, your friend that's bringing out the AA to bring to you as well, if it is in the spot, they also can't have their MOC on the map. So you actually need a third friend to send you the MOC invite and then it'll suck you into the MOC that way. All right. So with the AA trailer, if it is actually in from its designated spot, you might have to do a little bit of kind of maneuvering to actually use it with the current give cards to friends.
Now, if it's an AA that has come from a different garage, then all you need to do is push it to your MOC, or I should say your friend needs to push it to their MOC. Um, then they can actually request it from the MOC and have an MOC on the map at the same time because it shows up as a personal vehicle that way. All right. So I actually got the one from his designated spot. So we needed a third friend to send me that MOC invite. So I'm on the AA trailer that I'm going to receive. Eventually it is going to suck me into the back of the MOC. Now this is even easier. We don't need to push it. We're just going to leave it in the back of the MOC and we're going to work our way up to the bunker. Now once we're at the bunker, we just want to go ahead and go outside. And now we want to request the AA trailer. And if done correctly, it should actually bring out the vehicle that you originally glitched out in. So just like the other two that we just did, if it's an LG, then an LG will pop out. Or this particular time I used in Fagio, so the Fagio comes out. So I just went into my interaction menu and requested my AA trailer. And because we've pushed it and the new one is in the back of the MOC, it's going to bring my Fagio. So all I need to do is literally get onto the Fagio. Oh, sorry, it's a Sanchez, my bad get onto the Sanchez and just drive it into the back of the MOC and it'll swap it into the actual designated AA spot and it's that simple as well. All right, so it does make it a lot easier. So all of these methods I'm just showing you obviously so you can kind of get it because even though um, they're basically the same, a lot of people get confused on what they need to do. So a lot of the times you have to actually push it to kind of its designated spot. So the facility vehicle, you always have to push it to the facility first. If it's going to the nightclub, you gotta push it to the nightclub first. But with the AA, all we need to do is just request the one that was actually in the AA spot, drive it in the back of the MOC, and then when we come back out of the MOC, you will notice that the AA trailer will be in the actual spot. Now, if we wanna merge this to our uh, MOC, of course, you just need to do the merge glitch um, where you just uh, basically customize both pieces and then join friends. So it's super easy. It's been out for a long time. Now, lastly, special vehicles. Now, this is very important. When you first glitch out, the vehicle that you're going to be using, you want to use a motorcycle, and you want to make sure it's a motorcycle that you do not have at all. You do not have any one of them. So I'm using the Sanchez livery because I do not own any of them. So if you normally use Fagios, Make sure you use a Sanchez livery. That's what I recommend. Or let's say you have you know tons of other motorbikes, but you don't own a Vader. Well, then buy a Vader and use it specifically for this. So make sure you go through your motorcycle menu um, before you actually glitch out, and you're going to be using a motorcycle that you do not have at all. Okay. So I used the Sanchez livery just like I did in the previous method here. So now I called out my special vehicle on the map and I'm receiving the new one. Okay, so again, just like previous methods. So I went and uh, did the give cars to friends method. I called mine out that I want to replace, you know, by driving far enough away. And then I go in and get into my friends and receive it like normal. So it's going to show up in the back of our MOC, but it's going to be invisible. Now we want to go through our motorcycle club and we want to look for that Sanchez livery or whatever motorcycle you chose. So if you scroll through, I had nothing but Fagios. I only had the one Sanchez livery. So all I need to do is take this bike, drive it into the back of the MOC, accept the full alert, and boom, it pushes it to its spot. All right, so again, super easy, but very, very important. You have to do this with a motorbike only, not a car, because you can only call it through the motorcycle club, and it must be a bike that you do not currently own. This way you know exactly which one. You're only gonna have the one to call, and that's going to be the one. Now the nice thing is if you're receiving a full set with this, you can still keep using that same one because now it's back in the MOC. So now I can glitch out again and I can get the next vehicle and so on and just keep calling out that same motorcycle. So if I call out my box fill that I just got, there you can see it is the modded one. It's got the white walls and that's it guys. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like and become a channel member by clicking join left of the subscribe. Until the next one, this is your boy SCG and I'm out.